a ratio can be expressed in lowest term. Balikan natin yung example natin kanina ng ratio ng boys sa girls in... Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. At kung bago pa lang po kayo dito, don't forget to subscribe to my channel below this video. Pindutin nyo na rin po ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga bago pa natin i-upload na tutorial videos. Our lesson for today is all about ratio. But let us define what is meant by ratio. Ratio is a comparison of two quantities and it can be written in three ways. First is the word form, the second is the column form, and the third is the fraction form. Let us use A and B as a ratio of two numbers. In word form, it is written as A is to B and in column form, it is written as A is to B. O, ayun, ano, yung colon, yung dalawang tundok, yun yung tinatawag na colon. And the third one is the fraction form A over B. Uh, let us have this one as an example. If there are 15 boys and 12 girls in the class, then what is the ratio of the boys to the girls? Uh, ito ang pagkuha ng ratio. Ano? Ito lang ang lagi natin tatandaan. Kung ang itinatanong ay ratio ng boys to the girls, ang mauuna ay boys followed by girls. Uh, tingnan natin dito ilan ba ang boys. There are 15 boys in a class At susunod yung girls 12 girls in a class Tinatanong sa atin ang ratio ng boys sa girls So, uunahin natin ang boys There are 15 boys and there are 12 girls in a class And this is now their ratio 15 is to 12 in colon Form. We have learned that there are three forms. The colon form is this one, and the word form is 15 is to 12, and the fraction form is 15 over 12. Again, number one is the colon form, 15 is to 12. Number two is the word form. 15 is to 12 and number 3 is the fraction form 15 over 12. Oops. If the ratio being asked is the ratio of the girls to the boys, this will be the answer. Unahin natin ang girls muna. There are 12 girls in the class and 15 boys. O, kaya ang ratio niya ay 12 is to 15 When what is being asked is the ratio of girls to the boys This is in colon form And in word form, it, this will be 12 is to 15 And in fraction form, this will be 12 over that's it. A ratio can be expressed in lowest term. Balikan natin yung example natin kanina ng ratio ng boys sa girls in fraction form. And that is 15 over 12. How can this be expressed in lowest term? First, think of a number that is divisible by 15 and also divisible by 12 at the same time. And that number is 3. Our next is, divide the numerator and the denominator by 3. Yan. A 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5, and 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. And the simplest form is... 5 over 4 O sa kabilang dako naman Kung ang itinatanong ay ratio ng girls sa boys The ratio is 12 
over 15 in fraction form. Ganun din. 12 is divisible by 3 and 15 is divisible by 3. Divide both sides or divide the numerator and the denominator by 3. Uh, this is equal to 12 divided by 3 is 4 over 15 divided by 3 is 5. And the answer is 4 over 5 in its simplest form. Kung ang ratio na tinatanong ay boys and girls, the answer is 5 over 4. At ang ratio naman ay 4 over 5. Kung ang itinatanong ay ratio ng girls sa boys. Yeah.